So I decided that I'm going to make some YouTube videos, but I didn't know why. But I think the reason why is because I just talk to myself while I'm working anyways. So I might as well be talking to a camera and filming this shit. So I've done some body work and some paint on some cars and bikes that have won car shows and best paint at car shows and first overall. So I think what I want to do with my videos is tell you how you could achieve that out of your garage with garage tools and using your hands. So the last video that I did, I explained about a certain body filler that I've been using that sands really easy with the uh, agent that you add to it, that supercharger, and it, and it makes it flow out nice. And you can spread it really nice, really creamy. Um, and then I went ahead and I put some primer on these rear fenders and I sanded them with a body file. And this is what you should be using at this stage. Uh, it's rigid, but it has some give in a foam backing. I like to spray these with some alcohol and then I'll wipe them down with a microfiber, microfiber towel. And that just cleans all the sanding dust and everything out of that foam. And then your paper will stick to it really good. And you could use it, you could use it for a long time. If you don't do this, what happens is the dust gets behind the paper, the, the self-adhesive backing and the foam. And then it's like pouring baby powder on glue. It just doesn't. It just doesn't work, so it won't stick. And then this will be falling off, and then you'll have to replace it, and that it just costs a lot of money. So you want to clean this off, and then put this down, and that'll last probably for both the light, uh, the time it's going to take to work on these fenders with that specific tool. Uh, the air file works pretty good when you do it by hand. You get more of a, a controlled sanding. Also, when I'm using these blocks, I clean these off as well. This paper will stick a lot better, a lot longer. Um, you can see how nice and clean it is underneath there. And I've used this block with this piece of paper on, an, on another job I did. I just haven't taken it off yet. The, the tooth is gone on this sanding, this sandpaper. So it will be changed out. When you put this paper on your hard file, you want to stretch all the slack out of it. Make that paper fit in there, those teeth, perfectly. So take your time, cut it with some scissors. I keep specific scissors in one specific toolbox just to cut the papers. And then I'll even keep an old piece in there so I get a good idea of how long I need to cut it. But if you take your time and you cut that perfectly and get the slack out of it, it'll stay on there longer. So I got that paper on there perfectly. And I don't have any exposed foam either. You don't want any exposed foam where the sanding dust will get and work its way behind the paper and the foam. So I went ahead and uh, I made a, a sanding block out of a foam noodle. You can get these at the dollar store. This one itself is kind of, it's pretty dense. It's, it's tough, it's hard, rigid, but it does have some give. But I wanted that curve. So I'm gonna do some final finish sanding. This is what I'll be using here, probably 400 grit, finish it off before it gets some paint. These fen particular fenders aren't getting a, um, a pearl or a metallic. They're actually going to get flaked. We're going to do some, I'm going to do some black base on these and then I'm going to pound some, uh, some jumbo flake on there. We haven't decided if we're going to use a jumbo flake or a micro flake, but they are going to get flaked out. The name of the game is putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off until you get it round or until you get it straight. So here's an old mom trick. Denatured alcohol. Mix it up, put it in a spray bottle. 50-50 alcohol and water. That's what I'll use clean surfaces with. I clean those fenders with that just now. Works great. Uh, the reason why I use the alcohol is because of this here. And I go to uh, final prep work before I lay down paint. I'll be using this here and you can see the difference in price. So this works great. And also this cleans glass like no other. So ask your moms. 
So I got my primer mixed up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reduce it a little bit, thin it out because uh, I just need coverage right now. And uh, I don't want to use too much primer. So I'm going to put about half, half of that on one fender and the other half on the other fender. But uh, I keep my reducers in these old ketchup and mustard containers because they're simple and easy to grab. And you can just throw in a little bit if you need a little bit. Uh, they're handy. Most of the time I just pour it in and mix it to the ratio I need. But um, just to let you know. So when I first started mixing my primer, this primer comes out of the can at like the consistency of uh, melted ice cream. Now I got a consistency of old milk. But what I'm looking for is the consistency of a 2% milk. So I'm going to go ahead and over reduce this get that consistency that I want so I can get a really smooth finish on those fenders and then I can guide coat block sand some more finish sand and uh, be done with those and make them ready for some paint but uh, I'm not going to tell you what type of brand this primer is because um, to me they're they're all the same they're they're not the same but they are the same this is a 2k uh, sandable primer and it's all your thing some of them sand better than others some of them don't sand for shit at all but I've grown to like this particular brand and uh, when you over reduce it it will allow me to use my Annie Silver with the 1.3 tip where before I was using the uh, Annie Silver with the 1.9 it has a huge fluid tip I don't know if you can see that there, but that thing's huge. So I'm going to use my 1.3, and I'm going to lay down this nice consistency, really smooth-like. So I got two thin coats of primer on these now. They're starting to look really nice already. I'm not close. I'm not even close to being done, but I could, there comes a point where they everything just starts to look round or straight. I see some body work that needs to be done already, but I let it set up for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put some guide coat on. So I normally would just use a cheap flat black can of paint for a guide coat that you get from the dollar store. But I just happened to be in the, my parts store the other day and this guy that's in there, the sales guy, he's really good to me, he like treats me really good all the time, he's a nice guy. He told me about, about this and uh, I felt kind of obligated just to buy it from him. So I've been using it, it's, it's kind of expensive. But um, it does work good. I mean, it works just the same as the cheap can. So cheap flat black. But then there's this. It does sand good. 